thought I'd give you a quick update what I'm about to do here. It's a bit of a radical step. This model is not being upgraded to the block two, but I do want to keep it as the block one, and I want all the parts to work. The hatch for the command module, the pins that hold it in place aren't the best. When you close the hatch, um, it's not a great fit, and when you try to open it up and then close it again, sometimes the hatch falls back inside the command module, and if this were all if this were all assembled, for example, if this was all assembled on here like this, okay, and the hatch was closed and everything was glued together, and you close the hatch, sometimes the hatch will push back into the CM, and then you've got to shake it to get it out because everything will be glued together. So what I've decided to do, which is a bit of a, a major step here, is... I removed the pins on the hatch. I'm grinding down with my Dremel tool here, the hinged area. Very carefully. So you can see I'm starting to smooth that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these large paper clips and I'm going to cut it to size. I've marked it off here with a little black um, black marker, um, a line with a black marker, and I'm going to glue it in place. I'm going to put a little groove on here and I'm going to glue it in place and that's going to become my new, um, my new hatch hinge. And the metal will, will be a better a better um, solution I think. It's a little risky because if you don't place that just right the hatch is not going to close properly but it wasn't closing properly anyhow and I do want it to open because you know even though you're not going to see a whole lot I did spend you know some time you know making the interior look halfway decent. The decals look really good um, you know the uh, block one spacesuits although it took some some artistic license in painting them they still look pretty decent so I want to be able to see some of that. Um, so anyhow, I am going to continue to smooth this out here. That's what it's looking like right here. I'll get it to a point where I'm happy with it, and then I will just take some sandpaper, and I will start to uh, sand the remainder, round this off a little bit better, and then I'll just take some sandpaper like this, and work that a little bit more on the back side. A little bit of a raised edge there. Um, I marked off on the back of the hatch where the pins actually would normally have been, so I have an idea, a reference point. I think I'm going to take a little bit more off here. So I'm going to continue to work this edge a little bit more. I'll probably use some, um, I can see where 
There's a little bit of a bite out of the edge of this hatch. I'll probably put some uh, um, dissolved putty in there and reform that edge. Um, I'll cut the paper clip to size. I'm going to be mounting it somewhere right about here. So I'll probably score a little groove in there. And I'm going to put that in place here. And I'm going to show you how it all turned out when I'm done. I want to show you one more thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I went online and I found some artwork for the hatch, the back of the hatch. Um, put it in Photoshop. Um, just kind of tweaked it a little bit in there. Um, just to give it some sort of a... Um, something more than just a white interior. And this is just your basics, your basic hatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this... Um, just in essence a decal if you will out and then I'm going to adhere it to the back inside of this uh, command module hash so it gives it a more authentic appearance um, that'll look pretty cool so and that was just printed on photo paper so that's what I did with the decals in the cockpit I didn't have decals with this kit I bought it second hand and the decals were missing so I printed the decals um, from a photo online and then I printed them off in Photoshop, or I um, copied them to Photoshop, did some editing, printed them on photo paper, cut them to shape, and then uh, glued them to the interior of the uh, cockpit, the dash and all that. It turned out pretty decent. Nice. So I'm going to do that with the inside of this hatch as well. So anyhow, that's it. Um, hopefully when we're all done, this will have a nice metal pin hinge. I'll snap it into place, and I think once it's in place, that's not going to come back out. So everything has to fit just perfect before I do that. But that's it, and uh, hopefully we'll have the finished product done soon. Thanks for watching.